School start times in today's teenagers. Should school start later? Also, we put that idea to an early rising high school student. I'm Afan Chaudhary. Welcome to Globe Now. We all know that a good night's sleep is important, but try telling that to teenagers who often struggle to get to bed and wake up in time for those early high school starts. And it may not be their fault. The American Academy of Pediatrics recently proposed that school should never start before 8.30 a.m. because of biological reasons. Teenagers, they say, find it hard to fall asleep before 11 p.m. and they need between eight and a half hours and nine and a half hours of sleep. So let's do the math. If a student falls asleep exactly at 11 p.m., they should be waking up at about 8 a.m. or a bit later which makes getting to school on time a tall order. Well, one Toronto school came up with an idea, a 10 o'clock start. Jennifer Chan is the principal of Eastern Commerce Collegiate Institute in Toronto. Welcome, Jennifer Chan. Thank you. What was the reason for going to a 10 o'clock start? Well, the reason it was uh, originally based on research, which indicated that adolescents are naturally on a different sleep pattern from adults, and that they tend to fall asleep later and then have peak alertness times that occur later in the day. So, so what has been the result of these later starts? Well, I've noticed over the past couple of years that students are alert, they arrive energetic, well rested. It has definitely had um, an effect on our school achievement results. Uh, there are areas of student achievement where we've seen improvement. We've also seen lower absenteeism rates, particularly in the last couple of years. Okay, so we, post, we posted a story on this earlier and we got lots of comments from readers and here's one. Uh, how about earlier bedtimes? I'm constantly battling with my 13-year-old daughter who goes to bed at 9 p.m. All her friends are up until 11 p.m. or later texting each other. Maybe they should go to bed earlier. What do you say to her? Well, I think that um, anybody who's lived with teenagers or worked with teenagers would know that that's a battle that's easier said than done. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that really it's based on research that's out there that indicates that the adolescents are on a different sleep pattern than adults, mm. and so biologically they need that additional sleep. They're programmed to fall asleep later. Okay, so it's a 10 a.m. start, and the school day ends at 3.50 p.m. That is correct. What do teachers think of that? I think at the very beginning there were mixed feelings um, among the staff, but I think that as we've seen the results, the staff will agree that students appear alert, mm -hmm. they're well rested, they're energetic, and definitely they observe benefits for the students. What about uh, the impact on extracurricular activities? We still have extracurricular activities. Uh, many of our students are involved in athletics. So for example, an early morning practice might begin at 8 or 8.30 as opposed to 7 or 7.30 compared to other schools. Mm. We have many of our extracurriculars taking place at the lunchtime. We do have them after school, maybe not so much. Mm. Um, and we do have a lot of students that come in for extra help in the mornings with their teachers between 9 and 10. Um, and rather than coming in for extra help after a long day of classes. I mean, I know that this is the story of one school, but mm -hmm. what do you think other schools can learn from your experience? I definitely think that it would be worth for any school community to consider whether or not a late start would benefit their students. Mm. Uh, they would, of course, be considering that with a lot of the other factors. Um, being well rested is a big factor when it comes to performance, whether it be adults or adolescents. Mm. So I think it is something to consider. Interesting. Well, thank you so much, Jennifer Chan. Thank you for having me. Well, we want to hear from you. Are you in favor of later start time for teens? Tweet us at Globe Now. Now, it's not all schools that have these later start times. And though it's rare, some students are early risers. So we put the idea of going to school later to one student whose usual start time is 8.45 a.m. If we had a later start time, most students would definitely use that time to sleep in, but perhaps they would stay up later the night before if they knew that they had more time to sleep. Some of my friends go to sleep as late as 2 or 3 in the morning. I normally go to bed at 11. I'm pretty good about not pressing the snooze button, so I wake up right at 7. And that's not 8 and a half hours, is it? That's 8, and that's on a good day. I mean, I feel tired in the morning. I also normally have about two cups of coffee in the morning so that after I have my coffee, I'm more awake. I mean, ideally, I would like to get up at eight because I find that I work well in the morning and I can get more homework done than I normally do after school. Like maybe 9.30 would be a better starting time than around nine, but then you also get out an hour later too. And then it would be like five o'clock by the time I got home. So 
it's kind of either way you're having to put up with something. That's it for today's show. If you've got a moment, hop onto Twitter. Would your life improve if your kids went to school later in the morning? Tweet us at Globe Now. I'm Afan Chaudhary. Thanks for watching.